All right, we are in the master bedroom, the new master bedroom, which is the combination of the old two small bedrooms. And that is the wall torn out with the plywood for us to put the new huge sliding glass door. So when we are in bed, our head will be facing this way towards the room, but we will be able to look out to our left and see nothing but water views and uh, the boathouse. Facing this way, um, where that little board and brick are, there's going to be a, f a one foot wide wall that goes about seven, eight feet, um, the length or the width of the room, and then a three foot walkway on either side of it. And that will be a divider wall that will allow us to put the sinks, the shower, the closet, and the toilet on the other side. Um, we're going to have a little electric fireplace and a TV on the wall facing us, so you would watch TV in the bedroom but all the natural light from that window and the sliding glass door will cover both sides of the house. So getting closer, this little area here is going to be where the master bedroom closet will be. Right to the left of that, where these windows are, that's going to be a three and a half foot by four foot glass shower. And then right here is where we're going to put a little a new bathroom toilet and the toilet will be in there and which will allow us to keep this window um, the way you see it now exactly where it is to let all that light in and again here is the big slider and if I walk over here I might have a gap over here uh, can't really there you can see That'll be the view out this slider. Nothing but water. You get a better view. Maybe a better view over here. That's going to be the view at the slider. All right. So now we have here. This is going to be the closet for the pantry, the vacuum cleaner, things like that. This will be the main level bathroom and shower for. Um, everybody in the living room and this will be the shared bathroom for the new bedroom we are making right here so this used to be closet space and a bunch of other stuff and we redesigned the whole room to basically put a new bedroom here right off of the uh, front door and right up here across the top where the dark wood and the light wood meet. We're going to put in a 12 foot transom window that runs the length of this wall to get extra light in there. But you walk into this bedroom and uh, right where that blue tape is we've got a brand new three foot by four foot window that's been cut out of the brick on the other side. So you're going to have a big glass window here and you're going to have a closet in that little framed spot. So this this whole little slot here is got a closet. The smaller closets for this bedroom, the larger closets for the bedroom on the other side. Uh, we'll be able to put uh, beds here, uh, in here, and uh, we'll be able to put a desk and chair uh, right here to uh, fill out this space. Walking back, oh yeah, up here in the roof line we're going to hang the new HVAC unit up here and then we're going to drop the ceiling down two feet and run the ceiling, run that the length of the roof line all the way to the other side past the fireplace and that's how we're going to pump cool air from the top of the roof down towards the uh, floor to keep it more efficient. What you're looking at here is that is the brand new living room and uh, dining room area. And so we're going to have couches all around, couches and chairs all around those two big windows, which will face out this brand new sliding glass door. So we ripped out the old kitchen that was in the corner here, put in a big slider, so that you're going to have all sorts of big open seating here, so that when you're chilling out, you'll be able to look out this window across the four and a half acres of property here, you know, you have a window here out to the screened in porch that we're going to make. But you'll be basically looking at another sliding glass door that looks straight out into the water. Um, the kitchen is going to be over here. And against that wall, 
and uh, counters will run under these windows here. We have to uh, raise these windows up a bit to fit the counters. But again, the kitchen counters will look out over the water and that will be nice. That brick is the exposed uh, chimney. Uh, the fireplace is downstairs. And we're going to put foam insulation in between these uh, joists uh, on the roof line so that we can, we can basically put the drywall right up against that wood but keep it super, super insulated. And we're going to raise the ceilings to about two feet from the very tip. So it won't look so church-like, but uh, you're going to get a huge voluminous room. Um, it's just going to be phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, we're going to keep that door um, right there um, to go out over the uh, sliding glass door. And then we're also adding another window to the left of the door to even let more sunlight in because the sun traverses from right that side sunrise to sunset over there. So most of our natural sunlight is going to come from this side. So we're going to make, make sure that we can get as much sunlight in here as possible. One last stop uh, before we're done. Um, this used to be, by the way, I can give you a better view of the hallway now, you know, and you can see how open we're making the house. You know, just completely open. So this whole hallway now is going to be a raised hallway, which is great. Um, so you go over here. This used to be the master bedroom, which we've cut. Um, you know, into two new bedrooms. So we've preserved this large master bedroom window. We eliminated the huge cedar closet to give, give up space to make the, the huge cedar closet used to be right there, but we gave that space up to basically make that bedroom. Closet now is gonna be that little spot over here, so it's gonna be shared closet space with the other bedroom. So we've got a beautiful window overlooking the four and a half acres. We're gonna keep this window, we just gotta replace it. And, uh, Get this window over here, and this room has its own bathroom, so it's got its own toilet, sink, and shower. So, it works great, but it's a very nice size room. I'll go over here in the corner. It's a nice size room with a bathroom, so you can put a, a bed facing out against the solid wall, and you can put chairs underneath the window, and a desk over in the corner. Um, lots, of, lots of options for this room. You can see that the ceiling, we're going to raise the ceiling here as well, um, except for here because this is where the roof line connects uh, over there. So we always knew that this would only be a partially raised um, spot, but it's going to be cool nonetheless. Um, and then lastly, what else did I want to cover? I think that is it. Um, we did get the electrical done downstairs. so. If I go down the stairs here, this door is going to be replaced with a full glass door to let in tons of sunlight. So this is the door that goes out over right outside and you know, down to the pier to the boathouse. This is where the fireplace is, the wood burning stove that you can actually grill out on. We got pictures of that. We have to do a French drain down here to solve some of the water problems, but that's not the end of the world. And then um, you can see this big this big window will be the same. We're going to get rid of the uh, that. We're going to put all brand new Anderson windows in to fix that up. So you have beautiful views from here. We got a nice cedar closet here, which is nice. This is the utility room which I'm not going to show you because it's dark. And then this is the two car garage, which has got the jockey and the, the kayak and everything else in. And, uh, but we've got our brand new electrical panel down here. So that's installed. So once they're done with a few more items, they're going to get the windows put in and then come back and do the electrical. So this is a massive room. And then we will probably have the nicest laundry room on the planet because this is the door again this is the the basement living room but this is the laundry room so we're gonna put the washer and dryer in here and a table so you can uh, fold your clothes and things like that that is another bathroom back there in the corner and um, again you know you've got waterfront views 
from the uh, from these three windows here. So that is the Grand Tour. The only other thing that's important to note is that we get a lot more sunlight here now because the overhang is gone. So you come outside. It's a stunning day. And then you can see the basketball court. There's a drive over there with a little bit of gravel that I gotta add more gravel to, but you can see how we've basically cut out the sliding glass doors. And the back of the house lets a ton more sunlight in. And uh, there we go. Dogs are down at the boathouse. We got electricity to the boathouse now. And so it's good. Lots of geese and ducks out there again today. Got American coots, Canadian geese, mallards, some bald eagles, ospreys, uh, turkey vulture. Lots of good stuff. So there we go.